Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the wrong ways to use use cases in Android Studio projects. Let's get started. So clean architecture is used a lot across many Android projects and here is like the usual flow. We have some kind of UI, activity, a composable, something that connects with some kind of a view model. This view model don't access directly repositories and data sources. It get them to do some kind of use case. The use case kind of represents some domain business rule that would be applied, right? Let's see an example here. I do have here a simple order view model. This order view model connects with some kind of get order use case in which we are going to get the orders for some kind of user ID. That's pretty simple, okay? If you go here, you will see the following. It's just using an order repository and simply it is just calling another function, like this function is calling another function. This kind of use cases are bad. Why? Because it's just forwarding calls. They are not actually holding very important thing, right? And what it does, it simply adds some kind of clutter into the code base and into the understanding for the developers. But first we need to understand why we are in this case. The author, which is uh, Uncle Bob, Martin, Martin Robert, uh, said that we shouldn't allow the presenters or the controllers in his term, to use the, uh, the repositories directly. Okay, it makes sense that here in the repository, it's pretty simple. It's just get order for use case and update order status. Same thing, we do have some kind of user repository. So we don't give the view model full control of the repository because with the repository, we can do many things, right? With the repository, pretend like we have big repository, we can do many things. So if you give repository to view model or controller or presenter, we are giving it some kind of full power. So developer might get, here's the, here's the thing, developers, in order to accomplish something, they can do some kind of shortcuts in order to implement something, they, they shouldn't do it that way, all right? That was the main argument for not using repositories directly. But this brings other issues because here, as you can see, it's just forwarding call, it's just a simple thing. It's fine. We kind of can break this rule and just use the repository here directly or the repository like the following. And instead of doing, let me just rename this one, or the repository. And I can simply call it like that, get user for ID. It's not a problem. Now, here's the thing. When the logic, like this is the logic to get some kind, let me just add the local variable of the orders for this user or the list. Now, sometimes this piece of logic in order to accomplish it can grow. Right? Let's say in order to accomplish it, you need some kind of other data source or other uh, app uh, preference. For example, you need to get the date somehow, reformat it, send it to the server. So when the logic starts to pile up, right, this is the good moment in order to start refactor this thing and put it into its own use case. All right? So that's the idea. For example, you can see this kind of use case. This use case is called process user order use case. It does many things. First of all, it needs two repositories to accomplish this thing. All right, and it doesn't use the invoke. A lot of people have problem with the invoke function because here we use the invoke font so we can execute it kind of with, with the parentheses. If it is conversion, it is fine. No problem with that. Less you need to have some kind of conversion so I can read and make the code base consistent, right? But you can see here for this use case, it has many things. It needs to get the user and the orders. It needs to validate the orders. Like this thing is called business logic to accomplish certain things, which is to process user orders, right? This thing is a valid thing for a use case. It can get its own class so we can describe the use case separately from anything, just with domain stuff, with repositories and something like that. All right, okay, for repositories, it is fine. For repositories to create uh, own class for repositories and have a bunch of stuff, even though we can in repositories just call uh, just the data source to accomplish that. But in a lot of times, repositories combine many things, getting from remote, getting from the cache, apply certain transformation, like the role of the repository is fine. But use cases that just call a repository to do certain stuff, in a lot of cases, it is a bad thing. And actually, we get many benefits by using such use cases, right? In this use case, for example, we can reuse it, right? But I don't see this often, right? A lot of use cases don't get reused. But it is fine as a piece that can isolate all of my business logic. This is great investment for me, even though I'm not using it. Many times you are going to reuse it. Let's say that the process of user orders happen in two places in our application. For example, let's say that we have 
profile screen, there is synchronized button. You are going to use it here and also here. That's fine. This is a good thing. This is good investment. Also, one of the cool investment is that I can do unit tests for this business logic. I can create fake uh, entities for these repositories, right? And I can test this one to make sure that it is executing correctly and applying my logic correctly. So this is kind of good isolation. So it can help me do tests very well. And also it can grow like it is scalable. Let's say that in this use case, I want to add analytics, right? So it would be only here. I can get an instance of analytics service. And let's say here, I want to add an event, send event to something. For example, I can add a logger easily. I can add like many things. This is kind of scalable and I don't have to change many stuff. Of course, you have to change term of input and output, of course, but it is very, very scalable since it is isolated. This piece of logic is isolated. So that's what I wanted to share in this video. I viewed that kind of use cases a lot through many code bases and they don't worth the investment, neither the overhead to, because this is the thing, when you write some piece of code, you are going to bring a lot of overhead to other people. So the best code is the code that you don't write. So if you didn't have that use case at the beginning and have the view model directly calling the repository, it's much better for the developers, for your teammates, because it will get them less code to read. So much time to accomplish other stuff. And also this is just merely forwarding. So if you have just one single call, just put it in the view model, no pain. Of course, with code reviews and stuff like that, you can restrict how people can take shortcut. That is fine. And when you see the logic pile up, you can refactor it to some kind of use case like that. Okay. And this use case can grow on its own. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. To the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.